redirected. Score! Game seven! Montana St. Louis! We are going back to Tampa Bay! A Cavalier spinning. A Cavalier looking. Trying to drop it off. Brings it in himself. Left it in the middle. Shot! Welcome to another episode of Thunderstruck with your host Philip Wonderlich and your co-host Jake Ricker. Jake, we have a lot to talk about this week. You know, the Bolts are doing pretty decent um, coming into their first few games there. You know, they, they just came off a, a win against a Red Hot Hurricanes team. Before coming into the game, they were 4-1-1. One, and, one. and Tyler Johnson got a hat trick in this game. And he's been playing really well since coming back off the injury. Jake, how was it? Uh, I know you went to the game last night. How was the atmosphere last night in the arena? It was absolutely amazing. It was so great to finally uh, get back to Tampa and see my first game. Um, and, you know, it's just it's so great down there. The, the, the fans, as always, are into it. Um, always a packed house. So it was, a, it was an exhilarating game to watch. It was a close game, too, uh, throughout most of it. Um, so it was really fun. And, you know, we looked good, which is what the most exciting part was. Yeah, we did look really good. And you know, Matthew Joseph got his first point last night as well. Matthew Joseph looks to me to be really good out there. Um, you know, he's really quick. He got those hands that so he can make up uh, plays. He's definitely a playmaker. And like I said, he got his first point last night. How did he look in person? He looked great. And you know, I think Matthew Joseph, what he really brings to the table is his speed. Um, you know, you constantly see him uh, flying down. Uh, the ice, getting to where he needs to be. Um, and, you know, he can beat players out, whether it's beating someone for an icing call, whether it's hustling to a puck to then create a possible two-on-one. Uh, I think that's what makes him so valuable but, and what he's done really well so far. So uh, it's been really great to see him uh, thrive so far early in the season. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, another thing, too, is that uh, Yanni Gord got a goal last night as well, so it brings the total to 4-2. to two. And Yanni Gord looked, of course, good out there as well. And um, like I said, they went four to two, and we got a few power, few power play points, which have not came that uh, that well to us lately. What do you guys have to say about that, Jake? Yeah, you know, it's been interesting. Uh, we've played four games so far, which is one of the least in the NHL, along with the Panthers, Islanders, and uh, the Oilers, I believe, all played four games only so far. Uh, but we've seen basically three different Lightning teams so far. Uh, you know, in our first game against the Panthers, we saw a team that, you know, played decently well, but, you know, just squeezed one out and was just okay in all, all aspects. Um, in the second game against Vancouver, we saw a team that played a full 40 minutes and then completely slacked off in the final period and blew the game. And then uh, we lost two games. We've seen a team that's played a full 60, has played really hard, uh, jumped on pucks, taken the opportunities when they need them, um, and have capitalized on, on big opportunities. Um, so it's, it's been really interesting to see that. And the penalty kill, though, specifically, um, has been fantastic. Uh, they are still perfect on the season, knock on wood, um, but they have been on fire. You know, they're really good about blocking shots, not letting people sit all alone in front of the net, uh, which is really good. Um, the power play, you know, it, I had struggles in the beginning. Um, we saw it, you know, they weren't able to get pucks uh, to the net and they didn't have people in front of them to grab those rebounds. But recently, uh, we've seen with Cooper changing up the lines a little bit, it's been a lot, lot better. Uh, they're taking a lot more shots. And, you know, that's something we even saw last year with the Lightning is that they wouldn't take shots. Um, and, you know, as you know, um, any famous hockey player will tell you, um, shoot the puck and good things will happen. So that's what we started to notice more and more uh, with the power play recently, which is really good to see um, as our – we have gotten better and better over these last couple of games. Yeah. So I'm kind of going back in the order. Um, you know, the game before last was against the Blue Jackets, as you mentioned, and we lit literally lit them up. I mean, we won eight to two. 
Uh, Braden Point got two goals and an assist in there. So he obviously was a player of the game that game. And, you know, a couple players got their first goal of the season as well, including, uh, including, including Nikita Kucherov and Victor Hedman. You know, they're star-studded. But they got their first goals in that game. How do you think that their performance has uh, been so far? You know, a lot of people would be uh, somewhat say disappointed because they haven't been on the score sheet as much as we would like to see them. Uh, but, you know, I think you have to realize these guys bring um, things to the table other than just scoring. Um, obviously, in the Columbus game, you know, they were a huge presence, especially Victor Hedman. But, um, you know, even if you watched the, the, the game last last night, um, you know, Hedman and Kucherov, um, their presence on the ice create an issue for the other team. They The, the other team has got to keep their eyes on them. Uh, and every time they've got the puck, they'll lean more towards those guys, which gives the opportunity for guys like Tyler Johnson, for example, who last night had a hat trick, um, get these golden opportunities to score more goals. Um, so, you know, score sheet obviously hasn't been the greatest, but keep in mind it's only four games so far. Um, but, you know, their leadership abilities and just their presence on the ice has still been really good. It's not like they're slacking off. It's not like they're taking this nonchalantly. They're still playing really hard. And we know that especially for Kucherov because we see him visibly get upset on the ice when he misses shots. Um, when he makes a bad play, and he usually corrects them, and we've seen that with a re- few recent games. Yeah, I agree with you. And you know that leadership is really important in any locker room, um, especially with those star-studded players like Nikita Kucherov and Victor Hedman. Uh, the, speaking of slacking off, though, against the game against Vancouver Canucks, what happened? I mean, we were leading, and then all of a sudden they just took off, and we lost four to one. Yeah, that was one of the most disappointing games of the season already. Um, you know, and it was like I mentioned before, uh, that was basically the Lightning playing a full 40 minutes. Uh, and obviously a hockey game is not 40 minutes, it's 60. Um, you know, we looked decent um, throughout most of that game. But, you know, uh, when this team starts to slack off a little bit there and they get too comfortable with their leads, um, and they start falling apart. And that's what happened. It, you know, there's no... I think a specific explanation for why this happens, Um, but you'll see this throughout the season. Teams do this. Um, They just, they didn't play the full 60 minutes. It's it's as simple as that. Um, This team on paper has the ability to go undefeated. They are that good. They are that much deep of a team. Um, But obviously that's not going to happen. And you're going to have these types of games. So, you know, these are the kind of games you got to step back and you got to reset and say, we can't be doing this. And we saw that exactly with um, the game against Columbus. After that terrible loss where they blew it in the third period, they were you know taking too many penalties or whatever, they completely reset and completely changed gear. So we saw two extremes uh, from the Lightning. So hopefully we can find a good balance as the season goes on. And the, the first game that we played was at home against the Panthers. We won this one in a shootout. Uh, Anthony Sorelli got a goal as well. And Braden Point won in this shootout, correct? I believe you Point did not score, actually. Kucherov uh, was the last guy to score. I can't remember off the top of my head who was the first one to score. Okay. Um, but anyways, we won that one in a shootout, like I said. So we got two points in that one as well. And we looked pretty good. You know, I, we got, what, uh, two, four, six... Six points out of possible eight. So, I mean, that's not a bad start to the beginning of, beginning of the season. Not at all. To be 3-1 and one, uh, with only four games played is really good. Um, like I said before, you're going to have a few losses. You know, um, you know, I don't believe there are many undefeated teams left, uh, even though it's early in the season. It's just it's very unlikely for that kind of stuff to happen. So be 3-1 and one, um, so far is great. Um, and, the, and the promising thing is, you know, you got to look at how your team's playing, too. You know, are they losing close games? Are they losing blowouts? Are they winning blowouts? And what we've seen with the Lightning so far is they're losing close games or winning um, in a pretty good fashion, So, which is a good sign. You know, they're playing hard. Now, obviously, I'm sure anybody would take um, a pretty loss uh, over a blowout loss. But um, my point being, it's been a great start. Um 
So it's looking good. Um, we got the next home game coming up as our last home game for the homestand. Um, so you guys got to hope that we can continue continue this this type of play. Yeah. Speaking of the next home game, it's going to be against the Red Wings. These, this game is one of my favorite games to watch. Unfortunately, I won't be able to watch it because of work. But it, the rivalry between the Red Wings and the Lightning is something they should really keep an eye on. I mean, it's always physical. You're going to get those dirty, gritty goals. Uh, it's just fun to watch. What do you think, Jake? Absolutely. You know, you know this is a team, obviously, within our division, and then we've had a history with them. We tend to do beat them, and it makes it exciting because the Red Wings are always looking – uh, to finally take the revenge on us. Uh, the Red Wings have had a tough start to the season, so, you know, as Bolts fans, we hope uh, that we can really be no pony here. We hope Tyler Johnson, as we know who owns the Red Wings for most of the time, uh, will continue his great play from uh, last night and once again dominate them uh, on the ice. So it is always a fun game to watch. I'm sure there will be some good scrums going on and people pushing and shoving, uh, which always makes for a good hockey game because that's such a big part uh, of this sport. Uh, you know, I want to mention real quick too, Phil, uh, Anthony Sorelli. Uh, he's been really good so far this year as well. Uh, all around player. You know, I think he's a lot like Matthew Joseph. Uh, both those guys with their speed. Sorelli is a guy who has been jumping on top of pucks uh, more than any other player. Uh, you know, he's really getting into those, you know, um, tight spots, jumping on players, um, even when they're just, you know, hanging out with the puck, trying to find. Uh, and reset. You know, he's always putting pressure on somebody to force them to try and make a play. Uh, so Sorelli has been really fantastic for us. Yeah, that whole line has been pretty good. I mean, you think Alex Galorin looked good last night. Um, you know, you got Alex Galorin on the left side, Sorelli in the center, and Matthew Joseph on the right side. So, I mean, like I said, th- that entire line has been doing really well. Um, another player that really impressed me last night was Cedric Paquette. Um, Cedric Paquette had uh, several good looks including one on the breakaway, but unfortunately he was kind of snake bitten on that one. Yeah, Paquette has also been great. Um, You know, Paquette, again, is just one of those players that you're not going to see on the score sheet that often, um, but he's been really good, especially in the absence of Ryan Callahan. Uh, Callahan's the type of guy who will, you know, put put the body on, um, you know, rough some players around and, and not try to knock them off their game, and Paquette is just like that. But it's also really nice to see him jump in on offensive opportunities when he gets the chance, and we saw him do that last night. Another thing that happened um, a couple games ago, the triplets got reunited, and I post, posted it up, reunited, and it feels so good. And lately, it's been looking so good. Um, you know, Tyler Johnson, like I said, got a hat trick. Nikita Kucherov got the goal uh, when they got put together. What do you think about the triplets? What do you think how they look right now? It's awesome. Um, obviously, you know, it was very fun when we uh, first had this line get together a few years back um, and how dominant they were on the ice. And it's awesome to see them, uh, for the most part, back together again and playing so good. You know, it just goes to show you uh, how much chemistry can mean. Um, you know, because obviously Nikita Kucherov is one of our top players, and Johnson and Pilat are thought more of the you know uh, lower tier players on the Lightning. Um, and when you put those three together, you come up with three elite players um, that look like they they belong all of them in the top players of the NHL. Um, so it's great to see it, and you really hope that they can continue this. Um, but you know, I think it also uh, attests to John Cooper um, and how good he's been. For the Lightning, you know, he he never sticks with the same lines and throughout the entire season. He's always changing things up. He noticed in the first two games we were, we squeaked by a win against the Panthers and blew it against the Canucks. So he made a change, moved some players around, and got this chemistry flowing again, which is really good to see. So you know, are they going to stay on this uh, same line the whole season? Probably not. Uh, but it is good to know that uh, when we're struggling, we can you know, potentially put the triplets back on a line together and get some chemistry and a spark flowing again. Yeah, and I, I like I like having the triplets on a separate line. Um, I mean, Nikita Kucherov and Steven Samkos are your scoring forwards. Uh, and it's nice to have them separate because, I mean, yes, they produce together, obviously. But at the same time, it spreads out your scoring. You know, not only do you have to worry about the first line now, but you got to worry about the, the top line, the second line, so on and so forth. So it's you know it's it's a deadly combination that we have on this team with the forwards and how deep they are. Absolutely, a hundred percent. And you know, speaking, let's go to a little bit of a defense so far perspective. Um, you know, I think Bassey has been unbelievable.
unbelievable again, just right off the bat. Um, you know, the way he tracks these pucks and, you know, can make some of these ridiculous stops is unbelievable. Vassy has been absolutely outstanding. Um, and Domingue, even himself, has been uh, awesome as well. Uh, Domingue, you know, who really struggled with Arizona last year um, before he came over to the Bolts, he looked really good last night. Um, you know, obviously they scored two goals. Uh, one of the first ones they scored, you know, the Carolina Ford made a really nice move against them. But um, it's really nice to see Domingue, with his change of scenery, uh, play so well for the Lightning. Um, and, you know, it's so important to have good goaltenders for uh, in those instances where our team, you know, may stumble a little bit. Um, it's, it's good to have those kind of goaltenders that can pick you up uh, and bail you out whenever you need them to. Exactly. And like you said, Domingue looked really good last night as well. And it's always good to have a good goalie tandem. I mean, in case, God forbid, if something happened to Vazzy, you know, we got a solid netminder behind him as well in Louis Domingue. But like you said, it, it's really important that uh, the team plays well in front of them. But just in case, you know, you have that reassurance in the net. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Um, it's always nice to also to give Vassy some rest because, um, you know, we knew a problem last year was Vassy played a ton of games. And we did see a little bit of fatigue in there. Obviously, he got more used to it. Um, but I'm sure Vassy is very happy to have a guy that can come in um, and sub for him. So Vassy's not always taking the load day in and day out. Um, so that's what makes having this great backup uh, so important, which is really nice. Um and even the PK itself, uh, speaking of defense, uh, the penalty kill, like I said, mentioned before, has been perfect so far, um, which is really, really awesome to see. And it's kind of funny, too, because you think about last year, uh, it was the complete opposite for us. We had one of the best power plays in the NHL and one of the worst penalty kills um, in the NHL. And now it's been the opposite. Penalty kill is on top of their game. And we've only recently uh, seen the power plays start to do uh, a little bit better. But And again, you know, that's what's making us look so good early on here is we have all aspects of the team doing really well. The offense has shown it can step up and score tons of goals when they're needed. The defense has shown they can shut things down um, when they're on top of their game. And the goaltenders have also shown they can bail a thing out when all else fails, uh, which is so important um, for when one of your games isn't working that the other twos are. Um, which has been so great to see for the Lightning. And all three of these have shown that they can play uh, when they're putting their minds to it. I agree. And another good news is that they said this morning that Ryan Callahan is coming back sooner than expected from injury. And this also means that, unfortunately, uh, Conacher has been sent down on waivers. Now, if he does clear, he will be heading to Syracuse. But what do you think about this? as far as Ryan Callahan coming back, and do you think it's the right move as far as sending Corey Conacher down instead of someone like uh, Matthew Joseph? Oh, 100% it's the right move. There's no doubt in my mind. Joseph, as we've seen, you know, uh, even though he just got his first point last night, has played so well um, with his speed, and, and the Lightning are that speed team. That's the, the kind of team we like to be, so Joseph is a perfect fit for this team, and I think Conacher is the right choice to send down. Um, and obviously getting Callahan will be a huge upgrade for us as always Callahan again as we mentioned before is that type of player that's going to bring another physical aspect to this team um, and it's always good to see that he's ahead of schedule because if you guys remember um, in our interview uh, with the head athletic trainer um, Tom Mulligan you know he mentioned you know a lot of this comes down to you know how the players take care of themselves which means Callahan is really working hard to get back on the ice, which means he's going to have an itch to play and he's going to have an itch to score and get right back into the, the, the thick of things with the Lightning. Yeah, and I, and I want to uh, do a special thank you to you, Jake, for doing that interview because I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys did as well. Um, it was kind of interesting to know like how much it affects you just by the way you eat and uh, you know what they need to look out for as far as symptoms on the ice. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to do. Um, I'm so glad that we got to get it out there. And if you guys haven't seen it, make sure you check that out. It's on our YouTube channel. Um, it's it's a really it was a great to talk to him um, and get some new insight that you you know you really don't see um, every day out there. And another thing that happened as well as talking about waivers is uh, Jake Dotchin got claimed by the Anaheim Ducks. Um, he hasn't gone officially through yet because they're still waiting on it, but. 
the transaction is processed. Um, Jake, do you think that uh, as far as Jake Dotchin leaving the team is a good move for the Lightning? Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, the reason, as far as we understand, uh, for Dotchin leaving in the first place was because of an issue with his weight, um, which tells the Lightning that, you know, he wasn't taking this all too seriously. Um, and I've mentioned before how important it is to have a good locker room, a locker room, um, you know, that's just all around upbeat and, you know, is, is looking to work hard and get better. And we saw this multiple times with the Lightning organization itself. A perfect example, Jonathan Druin uh, was not good in the locker room. We ended up moving him off somewhere else. We got Sergeyev now, who's growing and growing even more. He's looked good this season again. Um, so, you know, Dachin seems like he wasn't a good fit in that locker room. Um, so, you know, and it, it's good. The Lightning uh, quickly jumped on this and, you know, did it linger around. And they said, you know, we're not going to take this. Uh, we want to win a cup this year. Um, and I know you guys want to, too. So, you know, this is no joke. Let's give the fans what they want and let's get that cup. So I'm very happy to see this. Um, I wish Dachin all the best, obviously. Um, and that he can get his career back on track, but I think it's a great move by the Bolts. Okay, and you know, like you said in the earlier, uh, with you know, we have Hedman, Girardi, McDonough, Strawman, Coburn, Sergachev, and Cuckoo as our seventh guy. So, like you said, it it doesn't really make sense to just leave him up here. Um, it's not going to get any playing time, even if he did stay over here. And like you said, he's not really. It seems like he's not really taking things seriously. As far as that dieting, um, you know, he gained some weight on the off season, and that's not what you want to kind of do. As far as if you know, if you're a hockey player, especially as a defenseman, you don't want to get any slower than you are. As far as Sergachev goes, I know you mentioned him earlier, but Cooper actually yelled at him the other day for act uh, for bad turnovers and being so slow. What do you think about this? Well, again, it goes back to the point I just made. You know, it's good that Cooper's getting on him. You know, he's still very young, so we're going to have those growing pains. You know, that's going to be a couple of years before uh, those stop. Um, and then even after that, you know, you're, you're always learning as a player. But it's good, again, that Cooper is jumping right on him and saying, listen, you know, these are mistakes you can't be making. Uh, so obviously we hope he learns from these uh, in the near future. I think he looked okay last night. Uh, but... It's, it's always good to have your head coach jumping on these things and, and, you know, not just nonchalantly saying, all right, you know, work on these things. He's, you know, being tough on them uh, when he needs to be, which is good. Yeah, you're really nipping Especially in the Especially at this young age as well. Right. And like I said, he, I mean, he wears number 98 because he was born in 98. So, I mean, he's still a kid. Um, so, he's, he has a lot of learning to do, a lot, of, a lot more uh, play experience to be, um, I guess, you know, play, play experience, experience that he needs. Uh, and this, I think this year it will be another step to his greatness. Uh, you know, the more you play, the better you become. It's just like anything else. The practice makes perfect. Absolutely. And keep in mind, Sergeyev uh, really never played in, uh, for Syracuse at all. Um, he came right over and basically jumped right on board with the Lightning. So it's going to take a little bit longer for him to learn as well. Because uh, he got right into the thick of things with the NHL level, um, but we've continued to see um, that his future is bright, uh, which is really good to see. You know, this Lightning defense is looking good, um, and I'm very excited to see how this season is going to continue. Yeah. All right, guys, that's all we got for this episode of Thunderstruck. Make sure you check us out. We're gonna try to do it uh, once a week. Uh, I know we have kind of slacked off a little bit here and there, but uh, make sure you check us out next week when you have our show. And we're going to kind of go over what happened since we talked this week and as well as preview a few of the games as well. And have, have a good day, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you next time.